This is the Zag Slimbook for the iPad Pro. Hi, Dan for your diary. Today we're taking a look at the Zag Slimbook designed specifically for the Apple iPad Pro. This keyboard case has an MSRP of $139.99 and it has a ton of really great features that will allow you to turn your iPad Pro into a true productivity device. It really makes it something very close to a laptop. It's still not a full laptop, as you know, but it does give you the functionality, the size, the ease of use, the angled screen that you appreciate when you're using a laptop. It takes the iPad Pro to a whole new level. So let's take a look at the Slimbook. Again, $139.99. So this is my iPad Pro with the Zag Slimbook in use already. The Zag Slimbook comes with a three month subscription to Evernote Pro. Zag's doing that, I think, across the board with their keyboards and their keyboard cases now, which is really great because it gives you a taste of how Evernote can fit into your workflow. So it's just a nice little extra. And uh, as you can see, the iPad Pro, it's a big tablet, you, you know that. And the keyboard actually doubles the thickness of it. If you look at it this way, the Zag name is embossed right here. This is where the hinge is. There are cutouts here, so there's a cutout for the lightning connector and then cutouts for each of the two speakers on this side. Over here there is a cutout for the volume up and down. And then on this side there are four cutouts, one here for the power button, one here for one of the two speakers on this side, a cutout here for the second speaker, and a cutout here for the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Looking at it from this perspective, the Zag name here, and you have a cutout for the camera, and then you have a little cutout right there for the microphone that's on the side now. Finally, on this side, there is an opening for the micro USB port. That's how you charge it. When you charge it, if you're using this for about an hour a day, it should get up to three years of runtime per charge. Three years if you're using it an hour a day. So lots of battery life, really reliable in that regard. So what makes this the Slimbook? Well, first off, it is fairly slim. Again, it just doubles the size, of the thickness of the iPad Pro. And when you open up the iPad Pro, what you see is that it really does look like a laptop. No trackpad here, um, which some people are going to miss, but you do have a big, beautiful retina display, the best display Apple's put on a device, especially on an iPad. And you have a really nice keyboard, which we'll come to in a moment. Now what's great about this is that you get a full 135 degrees of angle and it'll hold at pretty much any angle you put it at. In addition, if you can see down here, the hinge and the bottom of the iPad actually come below the keyboard case. So it actually lifts it a tiny bit, gives you actually a little bit of a nice angle for typing. Typing on this is an absolute dream. Now where this becomes really interesting is that you can grab the iPad and the keyboard and they come apart. So this is good for a couple things. First off, now you've got the iPad Pro and it's really light, but it's also fully protected. There is, this top piece is a shell which protects the corners, the entire back, really no lay on the table protection to speak of, but the corners in the back and now it's light and easy to hold and use for reading or whatever. Um, you can put it in the mode that you saw before or you can put it in the opposite way and now you get what they call screen mode. So now you can use it, watch your show. You don't have the keyboard sitting in front of it. You just have a screen to watch videos. Really nice in that regard. And if you want to do so, I don't know why you would because you can just detach it. You can actually flip it back around and now you have reading mode, but the keyboard right there. Honestly, if I'm going to be reading, I'm just going to take it off of the keyboard completely and now it feels much lighter. The iPad Pro is uh, not exactly light. It's not super heavy, but it's not exactly light. And when you add the shell, it adds a little more weight. But if you've been using it with the keyboard, as soon as you detach it, it feels like nothing. So it's all in the perspective that you're bringing to the, to the experience. Now let's take a look at the keyboard itself. It is a full-size keyboard, beautiful island keys, nice play with them. They do click a little bit if you're typing quickly, especially the space bar. Um, so they make a little bit of noise, but it's not bad. And the typing experience itself is excellent. Along the top, you've got specialty buttons, power on and off, volume up, volume down, mute, 
skip track, pause play, repeat track, bring up the soft keyboard, bring up Safari, search, Siri, and more. So lots of specialty keys. What is really special about this, however, are these three keys right here, the one, two, and the three. To pair it, once it's on, you push function and then hold down the one or the two or the three, and it'll put the keyboard into pairing mode and pair with your iPad Pro. If, however, you want to pair it to your iPhone, for example, you push function and then push down one of the other two remaining buttons, it'll pair to your iPhone. And if you have a second tablet or a second phone, function, hold down the third button, it'll pair to that. This will pair with up to three different devices at a time so that you can use it with your iPad Pro, but you can still have this really nice large keyboard and use it with other devices as well if you so desire. Not a function I see myself using a ton, but it's nice that it's there. Finally, it's worth noting that the keys on the keyboard are backlit, so you can use this very easily in dim light or in the dark, in fact. So a full keyboard, nice palm rest right here while you're typing. Big keys, big island keys, great play, great functionality. Um, nice spread between the island keys, and it is backlit. Really a, a lovely typing experience on this keyboard. Really does turn the iPad Pro into uh, an almost laptop replacement. You don't get the ability to run Mac programs, so it doesn't have a full-blown desktop OS. It's still iOS. It's still the mobile OS. But you do get uh, the ability to type, to do split screen with the iPad. And finally, again, you don't have the trackpad here, so you're going to have to get used to touching. One of the things I did find when I started using this is that when I had the iPad Pro on this keyboard here and I had my MacBook Pro next to it, I found myself looking for the mouse pad more often on this keyboard. And I found myself once again trying to touch the screen of my MacBook Pro because they do look and feel pretty similar. In fact, let me pull up my MacBook Pro so you can actually see the difference or the similarities. So what you can see here is that you have the MacBook Pro with the screen on and the iPad Pro with the screen off, and they're really similarly sized. If I put one in front of the other, you actually can see that they are now, the iPad Pro is a little bit thinner, and they're about the same size. There they are next to each other. So if you don't mind traveling with your MacBook Pro, there may not be a reason to have the iPad Pro and the keyboard. If, however, you want to carry one device, you want something that can function as a thin light tablet, but also want something that gives you a big full keyboard and a lot of power and a lot of speed, the iPad Pro with the Zag Slimbook is a pretty good way to go. Um, it is kind of heavy, but it works incredibly well. The typing experience is fabulous. You just need to realize that you're still not getting a full laptop replacement the way you would if you were using, for example, a Microsoft Surface Pro 4. That is a full laptop with a keyboard attached, but it also functions as a tablet. This is not, this is still iOS, so the limitations of the iPad Pro are there, but you do get a great keyboard with this, and then you can use the pencil to actually write on it. Really a nice combination, $139.99, the Zag Slimbook for the iPad Pro. It is available now. We'll have a link to purchase it in the notes below. We'll have a full written review over on Gear Diary. That's GearDiary.com. Before you leave, please consider taking a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We would appreciate your doing so. This is Dan from Gear Diary. Thanks very much for watching.